All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Feels really good to say that. I know that it's been a few months since my last video, but I'm back and I thought what better way to kick it off than to show you guys the stuff that I've been picking up over the last few months in preparation for the spring and summer months. I know that spring's kind of passed and we're into summer now. I've got a really nice selection of stuff here to show you guys. This is more stuff than I've usually shown in previous pickup videos, but it just is because I haven't made a video in a while. So I don't want to make it too long on each piece because there are quite a few, but um, we'll just kind of run through these and uh, hopefully this gives you guys some ideas or some um, new insights into some brands that maybe you didn't know before um, that you can try in your wardrobe this summer. So uh, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so like always, I'm gonna start off with accessories and I'm just gonna go over a few hats that I've picked up recently. So this one being a St. Woods trucker hat, it has kind of like um, stationary paper uh, design on the front there. It's kind of like the paper that you would use to write in school and stuff. So I thought that was kind of unique and I actually didn't notice that when I first picked it up. And the shape and the color is a little bit unique. It's kind of like this greenish, uh, brim here. When I picked it up, I really liked the shape of it and I think that it fits nicely. Um, it's really comfortable to wear, so not too much to say, but a nice summer hat from uh, St. Woods. Okay, and so the second of the three hats that I picked up is this James Purse trucker cap. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with this style. Justin Bieber made this thing super popular back in like 2015, 2016, and so I actually saw this on Grailed. I've been looking for one of these for a while because I really like how these things fit. There's this model and then an all black model that I used to have. Somebody finally posted it on Grailed, brand new and uh, I just wanted to pull the trigger because I think that it's a really versatile hat and um, it's so comfortable. It feels really nice on your head and uh, it's just a great shape and there's a reason why it became so popular for a long time. Just happy to have it back in my wardrobe and I'm going to be wearing it a ton this summer. And then the last hat for this video is this trucker hat by my guy Jackson. Once again, he did it again with Midnight Rodeo. It's got really nice embroidery on it and it's this really vibrant like green color with some contrasting yellow embroidery with the white there too. This is going to be a hat that's more of like a every so often throwing it on, but I really like this one. I think it fits awesome, and uh, I always want to support my guy Jackson, so killed it again, man. Really nice hat. Okay, so now we're going to move into shoes, and these are actually probably the things that I'm most excited to show you guys. I think that I got a really nice summer rotation going here, so I'm really stoked, and the first pair up are these New Balance 530s. I got these from Road & Gray maybe like a month ago. I think that these, again, are just a super easy sneaker to wear in uh, the summer. These are a size... 10, so they fit true to size. I went with my regular 10, and uh, I've worn these a few times. I think going forward in the summer, I'm gonna wear these a lot more, so definitely a nice sneaker. Okay, and so the next shoe pickup are these right here. Hopefully you guys can read that, but these are from Ore NYC. These are from my guy, Ray. These are the Ore 1917 Basic Combat Training Trainer, so big name, but awesome shoes, you guys. These are gonna be a staple for me, for sure. As you guys can see right here, these are the sneakers, so they have a really nice black canvas on them. I think these are Ray's take on like a Rick Owens Ramon, I think is what he said, or somebody said. They're just so comfortable and they fit really well. I think these fit true to size. I've worn these a few times as well and they're just so easy to wear. This is one of the first iterations, so I think that Ray mentioned that he was having some trouble with the zippers on the first release, but um, he's actually restocked them. I don't know if they're still available at the time of this video, um, but if they are, you guys can go check them out and um, they fixed that zipper issue, so you're all good to go. But honestly, from the pair that I have, they're not even that bad. The zipper isn't perfect, but I don't think that it makes that big a difference. They're still really functional. This is honestly one of my favorite shoe pickups that I've had in a really long time. So you knock this out of the park, Ray. Great job. Okay, and so again, next shoe pickup is another one I'm super excited about on the box right there. It's got the sticker. These are from Simply Complicated, which is a Japanese brand. It's a pretty low-key brand, I think still. I think it's still kind of on the come up. These guys are blowing up though. I've seen them all over Instagram and a bunch of YouTubers are showing off their stuff now too. So um, I think they're making really good connections and the brand is just awesome. Hopefully you guys can see on the box right there, but it's got all the specs. So these are another pair of the mule so you guys would have seen in one of my previous videos that I did pick up the black leather pair and uh, I definitely wanted to pick up this pair when I saw them come out so you guys can see that this is the suede model so these are kind of like a beige uh, tan color and they're just so awesome man I love these things I think that these are just like a really nice um, unique shoe you don't see this kind of shoe often these mules especially around where I live so I think that this is something that's gonna stand out a lot when I wear them I love the vibram soles on these but these ones again I did a size 10 10, so I stayed true to size and they fit really well. They're way more stable on your feet than you think so I really like these. You guys can see on the insoles there hopefully that it's got like the little stamped logo in gold and um, yeah just really high quality. These are made in Japan as I said and uh, just beautiful shoes so again super stoked and uh, you guys killed it. And then next up for shoes these are a pair of Solomon so I definitely impulse purchased these I'm not gonna lie. I saw that Haven posted that they got this color in stock and I just really liked it right from looking at it so I purchased it right away. So this is the Solomon XT6 
Asics wing in apricot or apricot, I don't know, man, honestly. I've never owned a pair of orange shoes, um, so these are gonna be interesting to wear, but again, I think really nice, vibrant summer color. It's definitely something that's gonna be taking me out of my comfort zone with shoes. I usually just tend to stick with like my whites and my blacks, but excited to try a little bit of color. They're just really comfortable too. For these ones, I also did a size 10, I think. Um, yeah, I did a size 10, so again, these fit true to size. And yeah, they're just great shoes and they're super versatile, so can't go wrong for the spring and summer. Okay, and so the last two pairs of shoes for this video are from the same brand, they're from Norda. So Norda is a Canadian brand and they specialize in making like hiking and running shoes. I went into Haven, I think in March, and I saw that they had these and I was like, whoa, those are some cool runners, but I'd never seen the company before. So you do get a drawstring bag when you do get the shoes and um, this kind of reminds me of like soccer cleats. So if you guys play soccer, you know soccer, a lot of the boots come with drawstring bags. So I always think it's a nice touch. So as you guys can see, these are the Norda Trail Runners. I don't know if there's an actual technical name for them, so I'm just gonna call them that. I got these in the sulfur color from Haven. This is basically like a Volt color. If you guys are familiar with Nike, they kind of categorize this lime green as Volt. It's got a nice, really lightweight Vibram sole, which is really cool. I've never seen a Vibram sole on a runner. They've done a really good job at using materials that keep the shoe really light and also very durable. So these are designed for trail runs. So if you go like get these things super beat up or you're going running in the forest, you're gonna have a ton of traction, ton of durability, and they're super lightweight. So I don't know what else you want in running shoes, but these are definitely what I want. And um, they're super comfortable too. I love these things. I'm definitely gonna use these as more of like casual sneakers. I already have a pair of runners, but I just think that these look really good as casual shoes. And then really quickly, I'll just show you guys the other colorway. So I did manage to pick up the all white colorway. It's got a little bit of silver on it too, but these are the all white ones, same size, size 10. And I uh, just can't wait to wear these things, man. Retail, I think was like 285 Canadian dollars. So they are a little bit more on the um, heavier price point again with the durability you're gonna have these for a long time so it's gonna be worth the investment I think all right so finally moving into the clothing right here we've got the represent satin shorts honestly represent is probably one of my favorite brands right now I just think that the way that George runs his brand with his brother um, is just so well done and it's really inspirational honestly every aspect of their brand is done at the highest level they possibly can so these are the satin shorts and I did a size medium and these are really comfortable man these also have really deep pockets which is something I really like for my summer shorts I want to make sure all my stuff is um, secure and um, yeah just nice black shorts can't go wrong and um, again super versatile for the summer next up we got this white soccer jersey from Nike and acronym I picked this up from Haven as well a few months ago I always think it's really cool when fashion brands try to collaborate and make some soccer stuff because obviously that's gonna cater really well to me it's really simple it's got a little bit of um, graphic on the bottom right there and then um, it's got this really nice clean design. I think that this is something that is obviously a soccer jersey, um, but it's so clean that you can wear this as a casual piece too. So for sizing purposes, this is a soccer jersey, so it's gonna fit a little bit slimmer. So I made sure to do a large, it fits me great. So just if you guys wanted to pick this up too. All right, and so these next three pieces are gonna be the last for the athletic wear, and they're all from the same brand. These are from Jacques NYC, and this is their signature tank top. So again, I just really wanted something lightweight and clean to wear when I'm running during the summer, if I'm just going on like trail runs or street runs. For this, I did a size medium because I wanted it to fit a little bit tighter. I don't like having extra material flopping around when I'm running. The material on it is just really nice. It's super soft, breathable, everything you want from a workout piece. And then the next two pieces are the same. They just have different colors, but these are honestly my favorite hoodies that I've found in a long time. I love the way these things fit. This is the signature hoodie from Jax NYC. This is the ice gray model. I really love the way the neck sits, the hood sits. It has zippers on each end of the pouch. For me, finding hoodies that I really like is hard because I'm really specific about the fit that I like. These honestly are the best fitting hoodies that I found in a long time. So I highly recommend that you guys check these out. I think on Essence, they still have these on sale right now. So you guys should definitely check these out if you want like an athletic hoodie that just fits really nice. You can wear this while you're working out or you can throw it on after or before. They're so comfortable and I'll just check what the material is for you guys. This is 80% cotton, 13% polyamide, and then 7% elastane. So these just fit amazing. They have a little bit of stretch to them too. I did a medium in all this stuff from Jack, so also did a medium in the hoodies obviously. And then really quickly, this is the other colorway that I got. This is their black colorway. It's actually not like jet black. This is more of like a really dark gray. Honestly, can't say enough good things. I'm super excited on these and I'm definitely gonna be wearing these ton. All right, next up, these are two pieces from Still By Hand, which is a brand that I've shown on the channel before. It's a Japanese brand. They focus on making basics in your wardrobe that you're gonna have for a really long time. So investments, basically. This is a nice thermal long sleeve in white that I picked up from Road and Gray. I picked up both of these pieces from Road and Gray because um, they carry Still By Hand and not many places do. Um, a really nice clean white long sleeve that's just really easy to wear. You can layer it, you can wear it by itself. I really like how this t-shirt has like a raw finish on the bottom here. And then lastly, for Still By Hand, we 
have this vest right here. This is me basically stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit. I've never owned like a vest that I would just wear as a vest by itself. No, like nothing underneath. It's kind of like a beige colorway. It's just really comfortable on body so you don't have to wear a t-shirt with it. This one I also did a size two. I've seen a few people wearing vests recently and I thought that it looked pretty good. So I wanted to kind of try my hand at it. Just um, a clean design to, uh, to wear for a long time. And then the final piece for this video, I'm actually not sure if I've shown this off on the channel before. So if I did, I apologize, but you're gonna see it again. But this is a ski pullover from Beautiful. So Beautiful is a brand that's based out of California, I believe. So I'm not really sure how many people in California are gonna be able to wear this. But here in Vancouver, I'm definitely gonna be able to wear this and I've already worn it a ton and I love it. I actually wore this on a mountain when I went on a hike and um, it kept me really warm just by itself. So the material on it is super soft. I did this in a large, so um, I wanted it to be a little bit looser. So this is made from 75% polyester and 25% nylon. Hopefully you guys can see the contrast in materials right here. But on the bottom here, it has little cinches so you can adjust the width or the tightness of the pullover. So this isn't really a spring summer piece, but I just wanted to include it in the video anyway because I hadn't shown it off, I don't think. I did a size large in this one. Beautiful is a really underrated brand, I think. I don't think a lot of people actually know about it. So if you guys haven't checked it out before, I'll link it so you guys can definitely check it out. But they make beautiful stuff. So all right guys, so that's gonna do it for all the pieces for this video. It felt really good to just go through some of my latest pickups because I haven't done it in so long and I love showing you guys pieces that I get and just giving you guys ideas or putting you guys on to different brands that I'm aware of. I'm the same way when I watch YouTube videos, I love watching other people's videos and just seeing what they're buying and different brands that they know about. I think it's just a really nice um, community feel for everybody to learn from each other. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite piece. Definitely expect more content from me. I'm gonna try to stay a lot more consistent going forward. I've got a lot of stuff coming for you guys in the future. As you guys can see, I've got a hat right here that I'm not gonna say too much about, but it's something that I'm working on. But you guys are gonna start to see more of it as the next month or two comes out. I just really thank you guys for your support and sticking with me. I'm gonna try to repay that um, to you guys by uh, just being consistent. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you guys gave the video a like as well. And uh, yeah, just left a comment, let me know what you thought. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. So peace out guys.